a lot of times people think that we're just a bedroom community to Charlotte. I like to say that Fort Mill's unique in itself. It's always been a unique, unique town. And so as far as just being able to keep that distinction and what's made Fort Mill good, and that's where the Fort Mill History Museum is able to not only say, show where we came from and what we were used to, but really where we want to go. You know, we want to maintain that. You know, we want to make, and especially, that's what a lot of people are looking for. You know, they want to feel attached. Well, my favorite thing about Fort Mill history is just the individual stories. That's been my favorite thing to working on. I've um, done some transcriptions for interviews for documentaries, and that's been one of my favorite things to do because you just get to learn about the individual people that have lived here. One of the ones that sticks out to me is the Jamie Medlin. He was one of David's friends, actually, I think, is what it sounded like. Um, but he just grew up here in the 70s. I love the 70s. It's one of my favorite historical eras. <laughs> I like collect vintage clothes and vinyls and stuff. So it was really interesting to learn what Fort Mill is like in that era. I want Fort Mill to be always a part of them. I want them to be able to, to it, it, it gets embedded in them. And so, and when they get embedded in it, when they get that ownership, when, they, when they're able to say, you know, hey, I was, I was involved in that. Again, it gives that ownership, and it's always something, again, to come back to. You don't have to wait till you're 50, 60, 70 years old to, do, to make an impact. You're making an impact right now. So I like the idea of them having an impact, well, with the museum and being able to take us places that we couldn't go without them. I've lived here my whole life and I've seen it grow from, in just that span of 16 years, I've seen it grow from a relatively small town to this kind of sprawling suburb and it's still somehow managed to maintain this sense of community, you know? You'll go out and you'll probably see someone you know and you're always gonna have a friend and a good neighbor and I think that's, sense of tight-knit community has just always stayed with it no matter what.